getting our first glimpse. And as you said, Mr. President, we're looking back more than 13 billion years. Well, take a look at this. You are seeing the first stunning images from the James Webb Telescope, the first high quality look at galaxies light years beyond our own. And uh, these images are being made possible by a partnership between NASA and other international space agencies. Scientists hope the nearly $10 billion telescope will help them get closer to answering the big question, is there life out there? Morgan Norwood has more. We can now see in high definition what was happening in the universe millions of years ago. NASA releasing more images from the James Webb Telescope, full of cosmic beauty, showing a giant gaseous planet outside of our solar system, and two images of dying stars, also a cluster of thousands of galaxies dancing around each other. We might be seeing some of the very first stars and galaxies to form in this image. We need to, you know, download the data and start, you know, doing the precise measurements and figure it out. And that's what we're all eager to do. The nearly $10 billion telescope peering into the universe, deeper than humanity has ever seen. The use of infrared light spectrum allows the telescope to see through cosmic dust. Today, for the first time, we're seeing brand new stars that were previously completely hidden from our view. You sort of get this sense of depth and texture from this new data. But as marvelous as the discovery is, it really is just the beginning. This Webb telescope will help scientists study the earliest galaxies, how our solar system formed, and if there's life on other planets. You know, as an international collaboration, this telescope embodies how America leads the world, not by the example of our power, but the power of our example. A partnership with others, it symbolizes the relentless spirit of American ingenuity. And according to NASA, the Webb telescope is only expected to last about 10 years, but now has enough fuel capacity to operate much longer. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.